Ivanovic now at the eighth, having hit that terrific shot from an awkward place off his tee shot. Be very slow here, Peter, coming up there. Rain's coming down a little, just a little moisture on the greens. It's coming straight uphill. needed a bit more and he was a bit wide I'm sure he'll be very pleased with a four after that tee shot I'm here and now at the ninth for a par it's got a little bit of swing from the right if you don't see the borrow and you try and drill it straight in hard and it just goes swings a little bit catches the edges of the edge of the hole and spins away further than you were to begin with Beautifully judged. Very smooth putting stroke. So only nine more to go. Back to the eighth. Watts. Long putt for a birdie. Coming across the hill, uphill a little. Again, pretty slow. Rather in the uh, Lauren Roberts mode, the putter moves very slowly. Well, Peter, it's very similar to the rest of his game, I feel. it's Everything's very smooth and in control. Probably why he plays so well in the wind. Oh, nice and tidy. As I say, he's two shots ahead of, uh, of the field. And if he keeps getting pars means that somebody's got to get three birdies and not drop any shots to get by him. So he's got his own mental battle, as well as his golf game to contend with. Ryan Watts, there he is, level par. Par here is 70. What a hard par figure that is, too. Being chased by Amira Parnovic and Fury. The woods isn't out of it. Now this is a great conservation area here. Here's Sergio Garcia, the young Spaniard. Something fly. It's not a pterodactyl, but some sort of monster. This is the way you deal with them in Spain. Obviously not a nature lover. Little vole on the move here. Hey, buddy. I hope you don't run into the Spaniard. Now, if one of these goes up your trouser leg, it can bring a smile to your face. And we get our rescue is at rest. Now, please, please, steady. Rescue is at hand. While we were away, this is Jesper Parnovic trying to save his par. This is at the eighth. So Parnovic, bogey at six, bogey at eight. He drove it left and it hurt him here on number eight. So this is how we stand. Brian Watts leads Mark O'Mara and Jim Furyk by two. That's the way that threesome started the day. Parnovic, three back, Woods, mini move, not a huge move. The amateur, Rose, hanging tough. Raymond Russell hasn't made a bogey. Davis Love hanging right in there as well. John Houston, despite a double bogey, is just one over on today's round. As you look back, we see Curtis Strange, who shot 70, and now joins us here at 18. Is it getting tougher to play out there over the last couple of holes? No, it's not getting tough yet. It's, it's, it's just it's not as difficult as it was yesterday. It's still, whatever, whatever we think, a little drizzle now, a little wind from the opposite direction. You have to remember, yesterday was so tough. This is like a piece of cake today. But the club selection is tricky today because we haven't played these, this wind direction. We haven't played these type of holes this week. The holes are playing so different. As we go through the telecast, I'll tell you a few of the different clubs that you hit. But, uh, you know, instead of hitting an iron off the tee and a sandwich to certain holes, you're hitting a driver and three iron, things like that. And you haven't done it all week long, so you, it's, tr it's tough to trust that you have the proper the proper uh, club in your hand and the proper yardage and how it's going to bounce because into the wind it doesn't roll very far down when it rolls 20 or 25 yards. So all of that considered, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not as difficult, but it's still tough. Back to nine. Watts, tee shot at nine. Here's one, Steve. We were been hitting two irons and six and seven irons. This is a driver, maybe four or five iron today. We'll see what he hits. That's absolutely ideal. 
Well, Brian Watts may not be known to many of you back in the States unless you followed college golf back in the mid-80s. He was one of the best then. He's one of the best now. Parnovic looking anxiously after his tee shot. Rossi, what's he got? Well, he hit it left in the left rough. That's the last two shots he's hit has gone have gone left. He has 168 yards, but a pretty good lie. It's just in the light rough. Right into the wind. This is probably a four iron, maybe even a three. Well, you mentioned re recently what he did in last year's final round. Hit a lot of shots to the left. Hit it very low. Oh, super shot. Well, that's a beautiful golf shot there. That is some shot. That's a lot of golf. The young man's not afraid to play different shots. Up ahead of 10. Second for O'Mara. 138. The breeze helping a little here at 10. at eight, par at nine. Mark will try to get another one back. He's within two of our leader, who's at nine. Second shot now. Watts from 154. Flag is actually in a very easy position today. Middle of the green, all the way around. Maybe slightly toward the left side, but... I'm a little surprised at some of the hole locations today. A little bit easier than you might think on Sunday afternoon. To 11. And this is the birdie putt for Justin Rose. And for a moment, I think he thought he had something working as it just caught the edge. And obviously the crowd did too as the applause continues for this young man. 17 years of age. Lost in the first round of the British Amateur Championship but contending here as we go to 10. Furyk second on the way. Stopped it just in time. We'll have a birdie attempt as well. Furyk and O'Mara are two back. Ahead to 12, Tigers second at the par three. Hanging around, but he's got to start making some birdies soon. Tiger Woods is four behind our leader. Brian Watts as the leaders and the, back, the front nine to get ready for the back. Curtis Strange with us. At, hey. He's playing. Thank you. Good job, Thank bud. You. Thank you. Uh, now, I'm tired. <laughs> I, I know you are. And he didn't shower, by the way. Uh, now, the back nine of a major on Sunday. Yeah. Everyone talks about it. It is cliche. You've lived through it and survived it with success. Somet sometimes. Well, is it is it is it as different as we always say it is? Absolutely. It's it's when you're a little boy and you think about the British Opens and the U.S. Opens and the Masters and the PGAs, and when it all of a sudden comes to light and you are in the middle of that situation. You're not prepared sometimes, and I think you have to be there once or twice to understand what your guts say to you, what your body does, how you react to the situation. Brian Watts has not been there. Mark O'Meara has, Jim Furyk has a number of the last five or six majors. Uh, we'll see how he reacts, but everything is multiplied two or three or four times than a normal tour event. So you've seen Brian Watts. Let's see how smooth he stays. The guy who's been around, Furyk for birdie. Jim has not been able to make one of those length putts today. He stays two back. Once he finishes that off, he's going to mark it first and just make sure no mistakes at this point. Is there a hole on the back nine that we have to keep our eye on that somebody can make a number, perhaps make an eagle on one of the two par fives? Well, uh, you know, the, the, again, the wind being the opposite direction, it's playing so different. Right. 13 has been two iron, six iron, three wood, seven iron for a lot of players. It's driver two iron today. It's driver three wood for me today. So. Yeah, that's actually a true par five today. 17 has been three wood, seven iron. Today is driver three wood for the longest hitters can get there. 15, the longest hitters can get there. So, yes, they can make a move on the two par fives where yesterday it was only one of them. But I'll tell you something I just noticed, and I, and I did not notice out there on the golf course, that Jim Furyk and Mark O'Meara are playing together as we watch Mark on the 10th hole for birdie. I think it's a great pairing for these two guys. They know each other well have for years, have played many, many times together. They're both nice guys. It's got to help, I think. So as they finish their work at 10, we're going to drop you back to 9 again. 
Over at nine now, Watts for birdie. The caddy can hold his umbrella until the player is ready to go. Then he must walk away. <laughs> right on line, Furyk made par at 10 while we watch Brian putt. But it has been a rock solid opening nine holes for a young man who clearly has never been in this position before. <laughs> Tiger now at 13. Curtis said how much longer the hole was playing. This a long iron second. Right at three wood nine iron. So that plunges into the front left-hand bunker. So Brian Watts, the young American who plays in Japan, has made par at nine. It's nine holes to go for his first major. The man who won't go away, Parnovic for birdie. Criticize his dress, question his habits, don't question his golf game. This young man can really play. He's two back. Up ahead at 16. Davis Love here with his second. Currently two under. Birdied the 15th hole just before. Rain coming down heavy enough now for them to be putting their rain jackets on. A good safe shot there, 15 feet or so left for his birdie. Looking at some scores here, Brian Watts, the man who's been so consistent. Justin Rose hanging in there as well, only five over par for the championship. Greg Turner from New Zealand, another great win player. And we'll move out to the 11th. Okay, Ian, thank you very much. Yeah, Mark O'Meara getting uh -huh. set for his second shot here at this 408 yard par four. The wind pretty calm right at the moment. Um, light rough, not too bad of a lie, 181. I don't think from the right side of the fairway you get the best angle at the Bye. hole today. Bye. Doesn't look like he's happy with that. He's yelling for it to bite. Come back. And it, come on. it's going to come, come back come just a little bit. Look at this trickle on down. So at the 11th, uh, a hole that yesterday did not produce a birdie, as the first also did not produce a birdie, the only two holes during the most difficult day of this tournament. Curtis, how's this hole playing today? Well, it's playing a lot different. It's a driver, uh, left to right wind, and actually with the hole location being back right, it helps you when your second shot. You can start in the middle of green, let the wind push it back to the hole, but this man right here, he's the best ball striker of the last three or four guys. He's going to be real tough. You watch that shot coming out of the rough, jumped on him a little bit, but went right over top of the hole. Now, Furyk. From 180, the ball was perched just on top of a knob right there in the left side of the fairway. Good shot. So Furyk and O'Meara both at plus two and two back of our leader, Brian Watts. Furyk may be playing as well as anybody coming into this event in the last five tournaments. A second, a fourth, a second, 14th at the U.S. Open, and a seventh as we go to 12. Justin Rose for birdie. It's a beauty. And another wave to the crowds. I think half the people here today are wearing roses on their chests. Certainly half the English people. Ian, what there a story. A, Ian, there was an airplane flying around. Good luck, Justin, all morning. <laughs> well, that's, that's the euphoria he's created as we go to 13. 